Anyways, next, any other question? Fifty three and fifty four. Difficult question, which okay, must Fifty three and fifty four. A binary gas mixture of solute and carrier gas is treated in a counter current gas absorption column containing ideal trace using a solvent. The composition Y, X are mole fractions of solute in the gas and liquid respectively. V and L are the molar flow rates of gas and liquid respectively. We use the notation G, L. They have given the notation V, L. Doesn't matter. Assume that the carrier gas is insoluble in solvent and the vapor pressure of the solvent is very low. That means the solvent is highly non-volatile. Solvent will not go in gas phase. So that means throughout the column from inlet to outlet all the liquid stream will have solute and solvent only and gas stream will have solute and carrier gas only. Further the gas and liquid stream, ah sorry. Ah, further the gas and liquid streams are sufficiently dilute. Wow. Life is so easy. And even if they do not use this statement, it is given. Y star equal to mx, so it is obvious this is diluted. For any value of m, the change in liquid composition across a tray is independent of the tray location if. Kya bol gaya hai? Jai doubt hai na? Kya hai ye? This is French. I can teach you French, but charges are very low. One thousand dollar per minute, and it is total fifteen minutes. Folks, you want to learn French? Read it again. Now, pay read it. Hello. For any value of m, the change in liquid composition across the tray so suppose this is some nth tray, liquid coming, liquid leaving, this is ln, so this is l and minus 1. So this is x n minus 1, this is x n. Change in liquid composition across the tray. What is the meaning of this change? First thing first. Here if I ask you, think like this. Above this, there is suppose n minus one tray. So this liquid coming is l n minus two. Mole fraction is x n minus two. If I ask you the amount of solute absorbed here on n minus one tray. What will be the value? Amount of solute leaving minus amount of solute entered. This is the amount of solute absorbed. Yes or no? So ln minus 1 into xn minus 1 amount of solute leaving minus amount of solute entered. Correct? Why I am writing this? Because they are asking the change in liquid composition. So you know that why the com composition of liquid is changing? Because it is absorbing the solute. Now here on nth tray it will be the same thing on nth tray. Ln xn minus ln minus 1 xn minus 1. Correct? 
means it is diluted stream. Means mole fraction of x is very very small throughout the column. What is LS? L into 1 minus x. Yes or no? Total into mole fraction of solvent, amount of solvent. So x is tends to 0, that means LS is equal to L throughout the column. Or I can say L is equal to LS throughout the column. Means all these values ln minus 1 ln ln plus 1 all these are equal to L we can say. Clear? So what is the amount of solute in absorbed here? L times of xn minus 1 minus xn minus 2. Here L times of xn minus xn minus 1. They want change in composition to be same. It means if you take the ratio solute absorbed, just think like this, solute absorbed on nth tray to the n minus 1 tray will be what? L times of xn minus xn minus 1 divided by L times of xn minus 1 minus xn minus 2. Correct? They are saying change in composition across a tray is independent of the tray location. It means for both of these trays, this change value, this delta x value should be same. That is the meaning. Change in liquid phase composition across a tray. Xn, Xn minus 1, Xn minus 1, Xn minus 2 for any tray location shall be independent means it should be same means but that means amount of solute absorbed on each tray should be same. What is this meaning? Amount of solute absorbed here, amount of solute absorbed here, this ratio shall be same only then this ratio will be 1 and the change in composition will be 1, yes or no? Because we have seen for diluted stream L is same, so we can't talk about L now. So we have to talk about change in composition. So that means amount of solute absorbed on each tray has to be same. So when the amount of solute absorbed on each tray will be same? If the driving force on each tray is same, and driving for force on each tray is seen if the equilibrium line and operating line are parallel. That means slope of operating divided by slope of equilibrium line shall be देखो इतनी बड़ी कहानी मुझे बतानी पड़ी है आपको समझाने के लिए मैं डायरेक्ट आपको यह बोलता a equal to 1 driving force same amount of solute absorbed is same so the change in composition will be same तो भी आप लोग समझ जाते because we have discussed that part already but you should be able to visualize you should be able to interpret and we are engineers you know we should know how to write essays. Jada marks kabhi milte hai na? Jab jada page bharte hai. Jada page kar se bharhe jayin jayin jayin. Two marks question simple. Yeah? Now the last is, under the correct condition corresponding to the part A, the number of ideal trees in the volume is given by y n plus 1 minus y 1 divided by y1 minus mx0. The Kremser equation I told you, Kremser brown solder equation, if a is not equal to 1, n equal to ln 1 upon ln of alpha average multiply by ln of in bracket y in minus mx0 divided by y out minus mx0 bracket close multiply by 1 minus s plus s 
then now gain bracket two. Is that good sir? And for a equal to one it was? Check kar lo notes mein. Mujhe pata hai aap log revision nahi karte. Aur maine abhi kya bola? Y n plus one minus y one upon y one minus n upon But they are asking in terms of liquid. क्या फर्क पड़ता है? You can interpret by n plus one means solute concentration in gas inlet minus y one solute concentration in gas outlet. Then we talk about liquid, liquid out inlet minus liquid outlet minus liquid inlet. So this will be positive. Liquid outlet is then minus x now. A and C are the two possible values. We minus plus to four zero. A and C are the two possible values. We have x one minus x not divided by y one minus m x not. Y one means in gas out minus m x not means concentration of A in gas which will be in equilibrium with liquid inlet. M x not means liquid inlet. So here concentration of A in liquid out minus Concentration of A in gas in liquid, which will be in equilibrium with gas in gas. Y n plus one upon m. Two no matter. Minus y one ka. Na pe kya hona chahiye? Yes. Three point seven. Yes, not. So A cannot be the answer. So this is 